Welcome back to another episode of Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper! I've not played this game in about two months since I had computer issues, but now I'm getting back into it. So let's get right back into it. Alright, what was I doing? What was I doing? I don't even know what I was doing. What was I doing? Huh. Let me see. I have this jewel. Um. Timeline. Okay. Uh, what was it this? would be a bad idea to go and see Bluto at the moment. I don't have his satchel. Okay, I'm supposed to go out like a satchel or something. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Huh. Let me see. Hmm. Huh. Why am I supposed to, I'm trying to remember, it's been such a long time since I play this. Hmm. Let's see, I, I think that there's a woman screaming. I don't know why. It's, all. it's okay. the abandoned house that Bluto pointed out to me. He must have set up his hideout there. Hmm. There's a strange smell coming from this old building. Let me see. Water. That's not the good you. day, Finley. Ah, uh, good day, sir. Have we met before? It's me, Sherlock Holmes, but I don't want it to be known that I'm here. Can I count on you? Certainly, Mr. Holmes. I shall be as silent as the grave. Okay. Tum Tumblety? Your tenant, Dr. Tumblety. Is he here? I don't think so. I can't find out. Okay, lightning. It would seem we've been having some gas problems. Don't talk to me about it. The problem is from the abandoned house not far from here. But nobody has come to take care of it. Okay. Perhaps I could go and take a look. Yeah, sure. Do you have a ladder? No, but I think in the pile of wood under the stairs there is one in pieces. And if you also need something from the scrap heap, some old tools, or who knows what, feel free to take it, Mr. Holmes. Mm. But leave the dishes in good condition. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, and goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Okay. So, let me go see. What do I need from you? Yeah. A heap of rusted iron crockery. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. Okay, let's see. There should be some other stuff we grab from right here. Finley's ladder is smashed to pieces, but all the parts appear to be here. This must be a piece of the ladder. Oh. This must be a piece of the ladder. This must be a piece of the ladder. Uh, this lead pipe okay. could help me to repair the gas light. Part of a perfume atomizer. That's it. I guess I grab like every single item I can grab from here. Right over here. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. A broken hammer. I will have to find a handle. Part of a perfume atomizer. Okay. Okay, we'll see that. Let me see, so what do I need to do? Okay, um, so, let's see. How is your... Okay, do let's... Do you have a ladder? No, I just saw that. Um, let's go Thank upstairs. you, and goodbye. Good. So there must be something else I'm missing. Can I use... 
Yeah, perfume out. Water. Yeah, okay. um. Some old nails. They may come in handy. This old cloth could be used as a mask. I must moisten my makeshift mask. Okay, let's hit that. The cloth. Let's do that. This damp cloth will do for mask. And yeah, let me see. Let me see. I can. I can grab from around here. See, I think there's anything right here. Is there anything back right here? No. I think I need to go ahead and go upstairs then. Closed. Closed. Right. The mask. Closed. Okay, so the thing is, is does he have a key for it? How is your? Thank you. And okay. Goodbye, um, goodbye Mr. Holmes. Hmm. That's why I need to get up here, right? I hope this ladder will support my weight. Okay. Let's go. Let's climb up now. It should be fine now. My cloth mask won't make much difference, but I'll be able to inspect the room for a few seconds. The leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. Let me see. Let me see. The leak must have been sudden. Okay. I need something. Do it. Okay, okay. Here. This iron bar will help me. Oh, see, see, see. Someone left here in a hurry. Okay. So everything about is about the gas leak. Mrs. Okay, let's get the iron bar in. That should help me. Okay. The leak is coming from here. Mm -hmm. The satchel is behind these pipes. This explains why the thug wanted someone who knew about gas. He must have hidden it there in great haste and broke the pipes in the process. The satchel seems to be... Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. The satchel seems to be quite stuck. I don't think I can get it out without passing out for good. I need a more suitable mask. The kind used by tanners would do nicely. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Some, probably I'm missing some things in here. Let's see. A small torch. A useful tool for opening safes, I would assume. But the gas bottle is empty. Okay, well, let's go. Guess we can technically go back. Can I climb it out? Or can I get out from there? How do I get out? How do I get out? Oh. The leak must have been sudden. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just click on the window. That makes sense. How is your invest? Tanner's mask. I'll What's be needing it? a mask of the sort Tanner's use. Do you know where? Uh, Go check in the little lane across from the clinic. At the cobblers, perhaps. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, and goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Holmes. I think I'm trying to mask my appearance, so Um. Go to the cobbler's shop. Let's take the knife out. We're going to go... Okay, wait. We Talk to you. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. This man seems wary. I must find a way to win his confidence. <gasps> oh. Hello. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. Jewel, yes. I am here because I found this. Abraham's beard. 
The son of one of my neighbors was beaten in the street a few weeks ago and it was stolen from him. If you would give it to me, I promise to return it to him and get you a reward. Money doesn't interest me. Who are you, sir? What do you want from me? I'm a friend of Dr. Watson's. Uh, you know him, don't you? In that case, welcome. Dr. Watson is a great man, and I would be pleased to help one of his friends. Okay. The tanner's mask, that's what I You work the leather and perhaps even tan it yourself. I believe tanners wear special masks to protect themselves from the toxic emissions given off by the vats used to soak the leather. I have a gas leak to fix, and I won't survive without something effective to protect myself with. Go see my cousin Abraham, who has a pet shop a little further down the road. Tell him that Isaac sent you. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that makes so much now. sense. He already, to told, Dr. he already knew it was him, so yeah. Um, so go down the road to his his. This is not where I'm going. Need to go, is it? This is a pet shop. Let's go talk to Abraham. Hello, sir. Hello. You have a message? You must be Abraham Solomonovich. I, I came on behalf of your cousin, Isaac. He said that you might be able to help me. I need a good mask to protect me from gas emissions so I can repair a leak. Yes, it should help you. But I let it drop into the big snake cage and they are very dangerous beasts. I don't know how to retrieve it. Right, cool, okay. But you must be equipped to deal with these creatures safely, surely? Of course, but I broke my hook. It should be over there. If you succeed in getting that beast from its cage, you will be doing me a great favor. Okay, so yes. I have the broken hook. I can repair it, but I'll need some materials. Okay. Perhaps I'll find some material at Isaac's that will be of use. This cage must do to hold the snake. Is there anything else here that I can use that would be helpful? No. Um, that plate looks useful. I need something. Wait, okay. This is two more cages. Oh no. Oh, these cages, I'm pretty sure. No, not those cages. Okay, let's just go back to Isaac. Perhaps Hi. I'll find some material at Isaac. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ask him about it. I need a few items for your cousin Abraham. May I borrow them for you? Of course. You're welcome. This should do the trick. Can you have something? This yeah. may come in handy. This should do the trick. Is there anything else I can do that in there? Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and combined them all. So, okay, I think I combined those perfectly to actually get those done. Um, so let's go back down to the pet shop, which is right here, right? Okay, cool. I need something. Do I not have this one? That's actually asking again. Have you let the snake out of its cage? Oh, I need the cage for. No, I can't do that. What? Hmm. Is there a case of tight mesh? Where is that? I hear so many animals. Oh, is this the one with tight mesh? This cage must do to hold. That's still one with tight mesh. This cage will do the trick. Okay, let's get this out. There we are. Magnificent. 
Maybe we can't in there. Have you let the snake out of its cage? If I may ask, why is it you have such equipment? I haven't always had a pet shop, my friend. I was a butcher for many years. But I wasn't serious enough to be a real meat man. And I was looked down upon in the community. I found myself carting carcasses from the slaughterhouse. A repugnant job in which you catch vile illnesses. And it breaks you before you're out of your thirties. Thus, I had the idea to make this mask with a sort of filter. And it worked. Since then, I have quit that work. And with my little savings, I started this business. I lived through the death of thousands of animals. Now I am devoted to their lives. If you are interested, I could sell you a little canary, for example. No, thank you. Let's return to the boarding house. Okay. That's actually like a really like cool story though. Um, let's go back because it's like you changed your life around. He changed his life around from where he was a um evil man to actually um being able to um killing animals. To actually be saving animals lives. That's such a very interesting story. The satchel, rather heavy and firmly wedged, dislodging it will take a concerted effort and is better done in a safe environment. I must repair this leak before I can get the satchel out. Okay. There isn't enough gas. The pressure isn't high enough. Okay. Oh. Duh. There isn't enough gas. The pressure... Let's see. How do I'm trying to figure this out? Okay. Um. There isn't enough gas. The. Okay, so. How do I do this? Hmm. There must be a certain way I have to do this, so actually, um, get it done. Uh -huh. So it's there, right here, so. Hmm. This is interesting to learn. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I do this. So, um, hmm. There isn't enough gas. The pre Oh, okay. So
Where's the pressure coming from here now? Hmm. Let's get that. Satchel, rather heavy and firmly. Oh, uh, yeah, not. No one was supposed to. There isn't enough gas. The pre. Okay. Elementary. There we go. This much talked about satchel yeah. is very heavy and seems to contain metal dishes. I told Bluto that I wouldn't look inside, but I've little need to. It's quite obvious that it's full of silverware. Full of crockery, the satchel makes the same noise and weighs about the same as if it were filled with silverware. Okay. So, this is when we're with this episode of. See you next time, my ghost.